Hey guys, sorry I'm a bit late in posting my video this week, but I promise you I have a good excuse. Uh, I actually fractured my neck last weekend and I've been in hospital a week, so usually I post on Thursdays. Uh, gonna be a couple of days late, the show must go on. So I had a question from Richard Patterson about the uh, Red Arc Brake Controller Elite, uh, Toe Pro Elite. Bloody awesome product, they're so good. I bought two of them. Uh, one is because I went for a swim with my car and it drowned, so not best for a water resistant, but uh, that's not what they're designed for, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, Toe Pro Elite, fantastic product. I'll show you how I wired it into my car and why I bought it. So the Toe Pro Elite is one of the few brake controllers that has a remote on it. So you don't have this enormous chunky um, brake control that you're going to bang your knee against in, in the driver's area. So uh, you can mount this on the dash, nice and neat, that's, that's all you see. And then the, the bulk of it can be hidden somewhere else. Um, the other thing I like about this, at the back of it, this is just uh, like an internet, uh, internet, uh, ethernet cable. Um, so you can have it as long as you want. And what I actually did, instead of trying to find all the brake controller wires at the front of the car, I went straight back to the tow plug and mounted it at the back of the car and then used a five meter ethernet cable. It was so much simpler. So I really recommend mounting the control unit at the back of the car. I'll show you how it's done. All right, so this is the back of my car and you know that little spot where the jack and everything goes underneath? I've got that all kit out with all sorts of wiring and I'll give you a very quick tour. And I know it's not the neatest in the world, but I'm good at ideas, I'm not great at neatness. Um, so I've got a merit plug, cigarette lighter plug, a switch for my reversing light. Um, then down the bottom here, this is my camera control unit. Um, power in, so this comes straight from the Anderson plug up to here. And so I've always got permanent power here, and that's important if you're gonna run the tow pro at the back of the car, you need to have permanent power back here as well. This goes into a fuse box and then it goes out to all, everything else. So the Toe Pro Elite is just here. This needs to be screwed down. It has to be so the, I think it's got a gyroscope in it to make it work. Um, and the circuit breaker comes with it as well. Uh, trick for new players. Usually you think 12 volt wiring, red wire is power. Well, in Toe Pro land, uh, the black wire is power. Um, so that goes to your circuit breaker and through to your Toe Pro. Um, they're nice enough to label all the wires here, and there's only four wires. This is what I'm saying. You don't need to necessarily be an auto electrician to do this. Um, so we've got the white one, which goes to the negative of your battery. So I've got a negative point just here. Um, the blue one here goes to your um, your brake output, and that needs to be something fairly de decent in power. And um, uh, the red one is your brake lights, because of course. When you apply your brakes, that doesn't need to um, uh, make the brake of your trailer come on 100%. You want to feather it depending on how much input you've got. So that's purely for lights. The blue one is how much power is going to your trailer brakes. Now I'll show you where to pick up now inside the, the car in the wiring loom. So this is the uh, wiring loom that comes with the Red Arc Toe Pro Elite. Uh, we need to splice that into our tow bar wiring loom. And uh, first I'll show you how to do the, the splicing part and then I'll show you what colour wires to connect with what just to make your life a bit easier. So first of all, let's say for example this is the wire that we need to splice into. We don't want to really cut and break this wire, so, but we want to expose the copper. So get a, a pair of pliers and uh, just grab, twist the wire and you want to separate it out, something like that. Can you see how we've exposed the copper, but we haven't actually broken any of the cables? Next, grab the wiring loom, take the little bit, that's the pre-cut bit. That's not enough, you need to make that much, much bigger. So cut a bit more of that off, something like this. Then splay those copper strands out, see they're separated like so. Grab the wire that you're splicing to, and what you're going to do now is wrap one one direction, that's not a one direction joke, and one the other direction, and keep wrapping it around like so, so it looks all nice and neat. Something like that, and you don't just leave it like that, get a soldering iron out and just put solder on here. Don't 
do anything else. This is your brakes on your trailer, your caravan. Don't muck around with it. Make sure you solder it. And then you need to go and get some tape afterwards and wrap it around to make sure it's all insulated. All right, so that's how you do the splicing part. Now I'll go and show you which wires to splice to what. All right, so that's that little compartment. Yes, mine looks a bit different because I had to remake it because I busted mine. Uh, just for the sake of it, there's my little plugs and stuff. And all right, guys, don't judge me. I'm good at making stuff. I'm not great at making it look neat. Anyway, I'll lift it up and show you. All right, so we've seen that part. Now we go under that, under the cover. All right, I'll try and zoom in on this a little bit, maybe. All right. So you, if you've got your factory Nissan tow bar um, wiring done by Nissan or whoever, it, all the wiring will come up through this plug here um, into their own factory loom. This is my Tow Pro Elite wiring loom that comes in from the other side and there will only be three wires there. Um, that's because we've already connected the black wire to power already. I'll even zoom in a bit more for those people that want to see. There we go. All right, there's no surprises here. So we've got the red wire that comes from Topo Elite goes into the red wire of the wiring loom. That's that one just there. Um, and you splice it in. The white wire goes to the white wire and the blue wire, surprisingly, goes to the blue wire. So that really isn't that tricky as long as you've got um, a soldering iron and a bit of black tape and I reckon about an hour and a half, you can have all of this set up. All right, then out of the tow pro, you can see the ethernet cable that goes through here, through the carpet, underneath, and then starts to run off down the side of my car. Um, that's easy enough. It goes under the seats without too much trouble. Comes out just down here. You run it underneath this little plastic lip here. You can just basically run the cable alongside it and then tuck it under afterwards. going into the front all of these panels come off pretty easily so hopefully you can see my fingers here run up through here under here this kick panel oh sorry about it. it's a bit dark down here can i change that no i just have to come out we're running out of what my poor little camera can do here but um and then we go to the red arc um adjustment on the dash here what a nice and easy spot to do it um, and it's all out of the way and dead simple one last thing the little switch thing that you want to get out of the dash to put your remote uh, sender unit in how do you get them out they're a pain in the ass you can fiddle around for hours to get this out I tell you the way to do it get a bit of wood sit it over the edge and whack it with a hammer as hard as you can it will smack that little bugger out in three seconds flat and you'll save yourself hours and it doesn't damage it and you're gonna drill it out anyway so just do it so I hope you like the little trick about the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite I've got heaps more of these so if this is your first time here hit that subscribe button down the bottom and you'll see all sorts of other videos that I've done on the patrol specific to the patrol actually electronic things and who knows what um, really appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time yeah yeah